Welcome back everyone to the second devlog video of this series. If you haven't watched the very first one, I highly suggest you to do so right now. Before we jump into the video, I quickly want to announce that the official Savu Discord server has finally launched. You can and definitely should join a lovely and fast growing community to chat with me and other developers and YouTubers about game development. And of course, memes. Just click on the invitation that I have in the description and I'll see you there. Your friends are welcome too. So the first thing that I did this week was to create a second island. There you will be able to collect the main currency of the game. I wanted to have something special, so instead of having classic and boring coins, the currency of this game is going to be gels or jellies if you like the word more. For that reason I created just for now and as a placeholder a button with a jelly icon. Whenever we click on this button our view changes to the second island giving you the ability to collect the jellies. Right now this is achieved by simply activating and deactivating the corresponding tile maps. Let's see what we have so far. We have this time two blobbies and if you remember this is how we named our first slime in the previous episode. We can drag Blobby around by holding down the mouse button and he returns to the island if someone of you wants to draw him in the sea. Not a good idea. In addition to that, we are now able to change to the second island, but you will learn more about that as we go on. Next on the list was to adjust the sorting order of each slime, so that when one is in front of another, it will also appear like this instead of a strange slime abomination. I have created a separate video about this topic and I will also link it in the description for you to check it out. It was pretty easy to implement and the results are awesome. On the other hand and not so easy was the function of growing the island to have more space for bigger slimes. Since this is what we are actually aiming for. Bigger, stronger and even more disgusting slime creatures. Again and for testing purposes I added another placeholder button and whenever I click it I want the island to grow. As you can see the functionality is great and it looks good as well, but the code behind this really is just a piece of sh**. I just replace all the sea tiles around a specific area with the correct island tile. A bad approach of doing this because imagine I had to do this 100 times. Never mind, for now I will rest my mind and leave it as it is. I'm sure I will come up with something smarter. Very sure. The next day and after several coffee breaks while watching Unity tutorials about tile maps, I finally got a great solution. Freaking tiles with rules that you can even animate. It is a plugin for Unity that you can download and implement separately. The link will also be down in the description. I really have to say that this one saved me from thousands and thousands of lines of code. I don't even need that very smart algorithm we talked about earlier. Such a pity. Here you see the style in action. First I draw a big area that is covered in blue sea and then I just delete the parts where I want the island to be. I then fill in the blank parts with a simple grass tile and done. The island is ready. With this feature I can now create whatever island shape I want. This is awesome right? Comment awesome if you agree. Also smash like and subscribe. So now that our island is big enough, it is the right time to make Blobby adventurous, giving him the ability of moving freely around and changing random direction. The first approach was not exactly what I was aiming for and Blobby could speed up and slide around like on ice. I managed to quickly solve this problem and the movement feels right now, at least for me. With this done, I also populated the island a little bit more by adding more evolutions of Blobby and I have to say that I really like the whole result. Let me know if you too like the way our slimes bounce and move on the island. And this is all I had to say for this week's devlog. I really hope you enjoyed the episode and if you want to see the next one, smash the subscribe button to not miss it out. It is really simple, smash it. Your love and support helps the channel a lot and thanks to you we right now stand over 700 subscribers. Let's get it to 10,000, I mean 1000. And with that said, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.
But till then, don't forget to join Savu's Game Dev Club Discord server and get in touch with me. I really love to chat with everyone and respond to every single comment. Okay, and that's enough for today. Ciao!